This video is sponsored by Make Nashville, but more on them in just a minute. Today we are going to build this articulating boom arm work light that will go with the miter station on Combs Design. I recently saw a really popular video by Adam Savage on his tested channel where he made this work light out of a cheaper film light and some lock line. Lock line is really flexible and I'm not a huge fan of it. It worked really well for Adam's purposes, but for me it was a bit too flexible and sags a bit too much over time. However, the video did get me thinking about some work light solutions. Several days later I came across this camera jig that Ben over at Wobi Design made, and I realized if I combined this with the light from Adam's video, I could make the perfect light for my situation. So with that all in mind, I got to designing. And by designing, I meant I went to uh, wobi.design and bought his files. Work smarter, not harder. With that, I headed over to Make Nashville and began cutting out his files on a CNC. Now let me be extremely clear, you do not need a CNC to do this build. It just happened to be the most efficient for my needs. In Ben's video, he shows you exactly how to make this with or without a CNC. He shows you how to use hand tools or even a bandsaw. I often see comments in DIY type videos that are discouraged because they don't think they have the tools and therefore they can't do the same builds. That's not true at all. You can do any build a thousand different ways. Just with the schedule that I'm trying to produce videos at, it made the most sense for me to use this CNC because I have access to it. Next I headed back to my shop and I put a slight round over on all the pieces just to clean them up a bit and make them look a bit more finished. With my pieces finished, I sprayed on three coats of shellac. I like shellac for this application because it's very quick drying. I did a light sanding after finishing just to smooth things out a little bit. All that was really left at this point was to assemble everything based on Ben's directions. This build doesn't use a ton of wood and it doesn't use a ton of hardware either. If you're looking for a really quick and simple build, this might be just what you're looking for. You can use it as a light like I am. You can do it traditionally how Ben shows you as a camera jig. Ben also shows you how to make a laptop stand out of this if you don't need either of those things. I use the same light that Adam did in his video. It's relatively cheap for its functionality and it's great because you can dim it you can also change the color temperature depending on your needs. I modified the mounting where the camera jig would go with a hole that I could use to attach the clamp that holds the light. Finally, I took the power supply and I ran it through and figured out where the cable would be stretched the most. Once I had these measurements, I could just use some hot glue to kind of hold the cable in place. Luckily, with the way this is built, there are some channels that this cable can nicely sit in and not get pinched. For my application, I'm putting this on a French cleat wall. I used some glue to hold my French cleat piece onto the light, and then some brad nails just to hold it in place. The brad nails aren't taking any load here. They just kind of act as a clamp while the glue dries. With that, I was able to get the light installed and that's the build. If you're looking for a project that is fun and a quick and easy win, this might be just what you're looking for. I built two. One of them is for my assembly and small parts area next to my 3D printer. The other is over the router table so I can have really good light when I'm working. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. I will catch you on the next episode of Combs Design.